What's cooking, cracking, and popping, YouTube? It's your boy Desert Eagle Gaming here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we take a look at one of the most clean, most respectful ways I've taken part in Gran Turismo 7, which took place at the fictional track of Blue Moon Bay Speedway, driving the Group 4 car, specifically the Lamborghini Huracan GT4. I finished P6 in this race, but it's not about the finish, it's more about the cleanliness of the lobby. So, without further ado, we're gonna jump right in and take a look. In S rank, SRS, lobby, you'll be, you'll be good, man. Thank you, game plan. We're working towards that. Thanks for the kind words, you guys. Kind words and encouraging words as well. We're gonna get it, boys. We're gonna get it. Sooner or later, we're gonna get it. That coveted A+. Plus. Is it on T1 here? Oh, oh, sorry, boy. Oh, Lamborghini Hurricane spinning out of control there. Right at turn one. He's gonna... Let's take it easy here, it's gonna be tough, look at all these cars. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Give him some space, that Aston Martin. Ziggy Pop. And then opening lap is always kind of like hectic. Especially when you start down in the grid. Let's go wide. Oops. Aw oh, man, come on. Play nice, boys. I think he uh, he can see it. Okay, that wasn't intentional. Okay, nice, nice move there, my brother. Nice move. Now that's a mature driver right there. I would have done the same thing. Okay, opening lap has been so-so, especially up front there. Thankfully, we didn't partake in that uh, somewhat mayhem. Let's keep on going, let's catch those uh, P7, 6 and 5, they're all clumped up together. Oh, big baby. Grip in 4. Beautiful. Here we go, closing the gap with P7 now, 6 and 5. At the same time, picking up that fastest first sector of lap 2. Very close to P7 now, Mr. Dark Helmet as well in the Lamborghini. Hurricane GT4. Oh, oh, tiny bit of pushing and shoving there at the hairpin. Again, he let him through. Wow, man, this is some real mature racing. He didn't take the position, he, he conceded. That was his way of saying sorry to Ziggy Pop there. Beautiful racing, wow. You see the difference between Europe and this? That's a huge difference, man. Like, even in high seas. I mean, you're gonna tell me we are in high Bs. And this morning we were in the high seas, so it's literally two different ranks. But still, man. My counterpoint is that Europe has a, a longer and more diverse story. History, I mean, in racing. So therefore, they should be all uphold that nice legacy, eh? Man, look at this man so far man like there was some hits and people are conceding as a way of saying sorry i got hit once at the hairpin and the guy conceded and now dark helmet earlier hit uh, mr ziggy pop there and he conceded as well didn't take the position from him now look at this, he's about to make the move nicely, but he, he just doesn't have enough momentum. We're closing the gap also with all of all three of them here. But we're getting also chased by P9. Mr. Mantru from the US of A. <coughs> Dark Helmet and Ziggy Pop, we to wheel now. It's a drag race. That has been won by Ziggy Bob in the Aston Martin. I think the Aston Martin is faster in the straight line. Don't quote me on that, eh? But, uh... Ooh, look at this, look at this racing, boys. Look at this racing. Amazing. Oh. A bit of lawn mowing, nothing substantial, we're good, we're good. 
There's a huge fight for P5 here. A bit of contact there. This, this I think is just a racing incident. They were three men wide. Ooh, now this, I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure about this one. Yeah, he got a three second penalty because of it. Oh, he conceded. Wow. This is amazing. Are you guys watching this? He, he conceded, man. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I hit you. Here's your place back. That's so mature, man. Let's come draft the brother here. That's so mature, man. Wow. I think the GT7 gods are making this... Are making up for the, this morning races in Europe, boys. This Europe, this morning in Europe, it was horrendous. We move up to P6 here. As we overtook the Genesis. As I was talking about the racing standards. Let's go. We're being chased by Mr. Mandrew. Uh, what is that? Is that the Genesis guy? This is some amazing and mature racing, boys. I feel like I'm racing in real life right now. So much mature decision from everybody on the grid, and that's like, you know, that's that's still like a bit a bit low on the grid. Like it's, we're talking about P7, 8, and 9 conceding. We're not talking about the top five here. That's amazing! Wow. That's amazing. I'm, 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 I'm really speechless. <clears throat> Alright, final lap of race 2 in North America. We are in P6 here. So, let's say, uh, what, the 3 position improvement, I think. Started in P9, I think, yay. And we in P6, nice gap with the P7 between us and P7, so no threat from behind. We don't need to work uh, for P5, I'm not thirsty for that. I'm gonna pick up points in P6, a nice chunk of points. Especially be that we had a 3 position gain. Most likely we're gonna get a lean raise bonus, I think. I don't remember hitting anybody that would uh, cause me not to get it. All right, we're on three, boys. Race number two, P9 to P6, another great race here. Not only a great race, one of the most respectful race I've ever per per uh, I ever I've ever uh, uh, I I've ever partook in, man. It's ridiculous. Wow.